Hello and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a Cycles of the Moon Tarot reading for the collective. So this is for all signs. Please stay tuned to the end of the video so you can watch your individual sign. Um, I've done a new moon reading for each sign. So the new moon on September 28th is in Libra. And this video is for the collective, so it will be... Um, all of the energy and the information and the messages that you need until uh, from the new moon in Libra on September 28th until the new moon in Scorpio on October 27th. Um, this reading is, um, is supposed to help you to connect to the cycles of the moon and it's a perfect and magical way to start to work with the cycles of the moon, especially for those of us that are manifesting with the moon or making moon wishes. It's a wonderful way to look into the time coming up and connect with the powers of the celestial fears, fears, spheres, and waters. Okay, so please do check out your individual um, new moon reading in Libra, which you can see if you watch to the end of this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and definitely leave me a message to let me know how this plays out in your lives. So very quickly before we get started, I'm also going to just give you a little bit of information about the new moon in Libra. Um, Libra is an air energy and the sign that rules it is Venus. So love and relationships is at the forefront. Um, the new moon is ideal for starting a new friendship, romantic relationship, or joining a new group. Um, Libra is the I relate energy of the zodiac. Um, so you're going to have to try to think about what is something you need to initiate with regard to your relationships to get or keep your life in balance or to help others in your life who are in need of support. Remember, Libra is the, um, it is the inanimate object of the Zodiac, but, um, because it's all about balance and, you know, it's very cold, hard facts and it's a lot of karma as well. So things should be fair and just, but it's also all about achieving balance. In my mind's eye, I'm really getting the imagery of the yin and the yang. Um, some of you, that may mean something to a lot of you. I mean, it is a universal symbol. Um, so it's not that far-fetched, but for one of you or some of you out there, this is going to, um, you will have either been seeing this imagery a lot, this symbol, um, or you may have been given, I'm getting like an amulet um, or a gift recently with a yin-yang symbol on it, um, something along those lines. Okay, so I have pre-shuffled this, um, our this deck, I am using the Oracle of the Mermaids because they are our, you know, our water, um, our water spirits energies that we can call on and that work closely with the moon. So the first card that I'm going to pull or turn over is, is our new moon card. So remember, our new moon is happening on September 27th. Okay, and then we have the waxing moon, the full moon, the waning moon, and the dark moon period. So the new moon, this card represents what is coming to you. Now this is gorgeous. Um, this is almost identical to the color shirt I'm wearing right now. Um, this is falling in love, kissing the divine in another and in yourself. So this is so perfect with, works so perfectly with this Libra energy and all about relationships. You could be falling in love with somebody new. You could be falling in love with your partner again, or you could also be just kissing the divine within yourself. You will know which way this resonates with you, but this this is absolutely gorgeous because love and relationships are not only at the forefront of the Libra new moon and the Libra season, but you know, the divine is shining down on this relationship, on this renewal or on this self love process that you are going through. And you know, the angels and the mermaids and your spirit guides, everyone is smiling down on you and on this union. Now we have the waxing moon. This represents new growth and results. Now this is conchomancy. Sorry for the noise in the background. Um, this is conchomancy. It's seashell divination and wisdom of shells. 
Okay, so we have number 20 coming out and then we have number 32. I feel like the number two is going to be really important for some of us. Not only is it about partnerships, it's about love. You know, think of our two of cups. It's that divine union. So we'll see the two probably show up more than on these just two, just these two cards. Now, this Conchomancy card, this is the new growth and the results that you're going to be seeing. Not all of us have the ability to work with seashells or live in a place where we're close to the ocean or to the sea. So this is all about, um, I want you to listen to the metaphor and apply it to your life. So Conchomancy, this is all about going to the seashore and to get to receive messages um, divination, um, it, uh, synchro uh, synchronicities and signs from nature and from the divine. Now, the message here is to take a walk along the beach. As you're walking along the beach, before you pick anything up, before you even try to listen, it's all about meditating, quieting the noise, taking a deep breath in, feeling, you know, the healing properties of the sea and the ocean, okay, the air that's, you know, blowing through your hair, feeling it on your skin, feeling it healing and just sort of wrapping you up and all of its sort of luster and all of its sort of calmness, listening to the sounds of the ocean, the waves, feeling the water and the sand in between your toes. Now, as you go further down this beach, that's when you start to notice the beautiful, beautiful gifts that the sea and that the divine has offered us. And you can this can be in the form of seashells, it can be uh, sea glass, it can be coral, it can be you know anything that the sea brings us that is constantly gifting us these beautiful little amulets. Um, whichever catches your eye or how many, you can go ahead and pick them up. As you do, I want you to really focus on the way that uh, the, the shape, the shape of the object. Um, the, the way the, the light bounces off it if it's daytime or if it's moonlight or if it's overcast, just how the shell or the rock or the sea glass plays with the light, works with it and does this sort of divine dance. And then when you're ready, you can either taste it, put it up against your teeth to feel it. Is it glass? Is it, you know, is it shell? Is it wood? Okay, to really enjoy the way it looks, the way it feels. And then if it's a shell, you can put it up to your ear and listen to the noises that, you know, the sounds, the whispers. And then also then from there, you get to listen for the messages that the divine is channeling through these objects and through these amulets. Now, once you reach the end of this beach, if this beach even has an end, it might go on infinitely, turn around because you want to go back to from where you came from. And in doing so, it doesn't mean you have to take everything with you. You can leave some behind for others to enjoy or to cherish, and you can also give back to the sea. You don't always have to take from it. If there's something that is extremely spe special, then you can take that with you. And that's the message here with the Conchomancy. And this you can apply to many different aspects of your life, but also to your new growth and the results you're going to see are not from necessarily being gluttonous or greedy and taking everything with you. Take knowledge with you, take the memory, take the experience, but you don't need to always take and take and take. You can leave some things where they are, okay? Now, the next card out is going to be the full moon. This is the soul cage. This is number 24. I told you the number two was going to pop up again and again, and it's two and four. And again, we have another partnership showing up here. This is what will come about. Um, this is most of your energy uh, that you will be experiencing and what will empower you. And this is rescue, escape from captivity and restriction. So in the full moon, what's going to be happening is you are going to either feel like you're rescuing yourself. Again, remember in Libra, it was all about how can you help and be of service to others and in your relationship. So maybe you're going to be really rescuing someone, escaping from captivity or helping 
someone escape from captivity. Again, captivity can mean an actual relationship. It could be a job. It could be, um, I am getting somebody actually from, <laughs> you may have somebody who's locked up. I don't mean to laugh, but it sounds so obvious, but I actually really get that maybe for one of you, somebody might be involved in a legal situation that you might be helping them with. And there's also restrictions. So you're going to be helping somebody um, either be released or maybe somebody's stuck in, and this may be you as well, and negative thought patterns or restrictive beliefs like self-doubt. Okay, this is what will come about is this release. And I really get that you're helping somebody, somebody's helping you, or it's all of the work that you have been doing is going to just culminate in this beautiful, wonderful release. And you're going to feel like, wow, you know, like this is just, you know, this is either my Prince Charming, this woman has saved me. Or, you know, all of the work I've done, I finally feel this beautiful release and I feel free. But there is a real, real, real connection here with relationships and with someone else or just with your, your, your higher self as well. This could also, I'm getting, this could be for some of you, your connection with the spirit, the divine, your angels, your ancestors. You may be doing work on how to communicate and receive their messages. And this is all about that equal exchange of gifts, which we saw in this contramancy card, you know, that for example, remember in order to, before we receive any messages, and especially with the sea, you know, we do have to, we, we have to provide an offering before we can take or before we receive. And that's true as well with the divine. What you give will come back to you tenfold with, um, with the universe. Okay. So that's very important messages. For the waning moon, this is something that is leaving or this is energy that is diminishing. Now in this card, this is number three and remember threes are all about expansion. Allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to give. So was I not just talking about the net, the importance of giving and receiving? Here we see all of this equal exchange of gifts and that in order to receive messages or receive from the universe, we do have to give first and we will be rewarded tenfold. Now what's going to be what's going to be leaving or the energy that's going to be diminishing is you are going to start allowing yourself to receive. So I'm getting that you are going to be the the energy, the blocks that you are putting up, okay, that don't allow you to receive, which can be self-doubt or can be, you know, I don't deserve this. Okay, um, remember that spirit, the universe, all of mankind is always conspiring to make you successful and abundant, but we usually put up our own blocks. And oftentimes we don't feel like we deserve abundance. We don't deserve love. We don't deserve healthy, happy relationships where there is an equal exchange. And this is the energy that's going to be going away. That's going to be clearing those blocks so that you can freely give and receive, bring more abundance into your life, material, physical, spiritual, and especially where love is concerned. Okay. And that goes with self-love as well. Okay. You may also find yourself giving more. Okay. Being more open to, you know, to giving, to helping others. Now in the dark moon period, we have divination and this is what you've kept hidden, but it's something that really needs to come out. Now this is prophecy, fate, destiny, future fortune. So I may be speaking to some light workers out there, some healers. You may work with energies such as Reiki. You might do chakra cleansings, clearings, auras. You may work with angels, um, or you may do something like Reiki, or you may simply just be somebody who heals. You may be in the medical profession. Okay. You may be, you know, work in psychology, or you may just be that person who's always lending an ear, listening to friends and family that really Really need help. I'm getting that you may also be working with somebody who has an addiction. So either as a counselor or maybe somebody in your family who's been struggling and that may be where you're going to be, you know, you're really going to be coming out 
as um, coming out as either having an addiction and healing or helping somebody heal from an addiction or from negative thought patterns or from an abusive relationship. I'm getting that coming through really strong here. But for a lot of you, you may be in the closet witches. You may be in the closet tarot readers. Um, you may not have come out about the fact that you do receive messages from the divine, that you do, you know, you that you have this gift of intuition. I also love the fact that future fortune, what you've kept hidden but needs to come out. I'm getting also that in work Working on giving and receiving and those of you that have been making moon wishes manifesting with the moon and for those of you that have been working with law of attraction that you know it may also take from you know from this new moon in Libra all the way until almost the new moon in Scorpio where you will be really experiencing the fruits of your labor you may be manifesting you know you might be seeing those things coming to you at the end of this period okay i'm going to leave it there with you guys i really really hope you enjoyed this please stay tuned for your individual sign um, new moon reading in libra which uh, will be connected to the end of this video um, if they are not up in time please check back on my channel they will be up in the next week um, remember that i love you guys so much um, and I want to thank you for being with me on this journey. I'm sending a virtual hug and a huge shout out to all of my subscribers, people that watch my videos every day, that comment, and for all of your love and support. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful new moon in Libra phase and that you get everything that you have wished for.